Back here in Michigan, both Democrats and Republicans held their own watch parties for that debate. News 8's Adriana Doria went to both. She joins us from the digital studio. Adriana, what's the reaction to the debate? Amber Bryan, it was certainly a packed house at both Pepino's and Pyramid Scheme in downtown Grand Rapids for those watch parties. One was hosted by the Kent County GOP, the other by the Democrat side. They were all pumped to be watching the debate. We just left those right after the debate ended again at Pyramid Scheme and Pepino's. Everyone kind of feeling the same way. They were out supporting their candidates. I can say the energy was high for both of those watch parties as they were watching their candidates perform. Performance. This is the first time we're seeing both of these candidates on the debate stage. And this debate comes after President Joe Biden dropped out against Donald Trump and then endorsed Harris, who is now the Democrat nominee. And this debate, again, just concluding a few minutes ago, we heard both candidates talk about a variety of things. Trump highlighted his record as president, his plans for border control, his plans for the economy and lowering taxes. His supporters I talked to at his watch party say they were happy with his performance so far tonight. And you can take a listen to what they had to say. I think Trump's doing a really good job. He needs to stay on message. Um, I'm seeing him just kind of a determined face, ready to go, going to lead America into prosperity with his plans and everything. He's making all the points that need to be made at this at, at this point, and I'm sure there's going to be more uh, coming. But yeah, we're, we're really encouraged by this uh, back and forth. It's, it's a good fight, but we have confidence as to how it's ultimately going to play out. Now, on the other side of the aisle, Harris speaking on things also like the economy, women's rights, and also Social Security. Take a listen. I think she's engaging, the, the, and she's bringing up many things that, are, that I hope that she's going to be saying going on there. What we're hearing from uh, Donald Trump is a lot of the same grants and superlatives about greatest and most, and uh, it just starts to get, we've heard it all before. I think she should definitely attack Trump a little bit more, call him out on some more of his lies, and really reiterate some of his criminal offenses. I think I really liked it when she did that just now, so I think if she keeps that up, she really has the momentum to keep this going. Both camps saying they support their candidates. They think that their candidates won that debate. So definitely an interesting one to watch, and we'll continue to be following that on Wood TV. For now, reporting in the newsroom, Adriana Doria, News 8.